This is GCTV. It's Wednesday, October 14th. Good afternoon, GC. I'm Olivia Cooper. And I'm Callie Riley. Small gatherings are becoming a growing source of COVID-19 spread. That statement from the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention this morning. Their director says folks need to be especially careful with Halloween and Thanksgiving coming up. At least 36 states are reporting an increase of COVID cases this week. In Kentucky, Governor Andy Bashir says the state is in the red zone for new coronavirus cases. Bashir spoke yesterday afternoon as his family remains in quarantine. He says there are at least 81,000 cases in Kentucky currently. 776 of those cases are new. Is Kanye West's run for president legitimate? It's too early to tell. But that isn't stopping him from celebrating early polling results in Kentucky. West is a late entrant on the ballot as an independent candidate and isn't on the ballots in many states. He posted a screenshot on Twitter last night showing he received more than 75,000 votes. Unfortunately, the screenshot was just a test of their polling app and didn't have actual results according to Lex18. The nice weather is here with the first few weeks of fall. Sadly, that means you'll see a lot more of these guys. Stink bugs are back, and local pest control specialists say there will be lots this season. West Kentucky Star reports they aren't native to our area, but come out every fall looking for a place to hibernate. Even though they're a pest, specialists say they are mostly harmless to your home. School pictures are happening today and tomorrow. Expect to have your picture taken during English class. So if you don't have English today, yours will be taken tomorrow. Empower Club is looking for new members. They are an anti-drug and alcohol club. Their mission is to encourage you guys to stay away from these influences in high school. If you're interested, they have a meeting after school tomorrow in Sedalia 09. Coming up, we'll have today's birthdays and your three-day forecast. Plus, sports with Kobe Allen. Good morning, GC. I'm Kobe Allen. The Lady Eagles soccer team played the Lady Tigers of Murray last night. With the game staying close to hold time, it headed into overtime. In overtime, the Murray Tigers won 4-3 off of PKs. This loss ended the Lady Eagles season abruptly. That's all for your Eagle Sports action for GCTV. I'm Kobe Allen. And now, your three-day forecast. Hey, my name is Neil Benson, and you're watching DCTV. The candidates running for the student position on the Graves County Board of Education want your support. Voting for that is happening today. You can cast your vote on Schoology. Four candidates are running for the position this year, and each of them recorded a short video explaining why they believe you deserve, they deserve your vote. Hey GC, my name is Devin Cope and I'm running to be the voice of students as a student representative on the Grace County Board of Education. As you view the videos for the other candidates, you will hear them list off their role in the 792 different clubs that they are in. I believe that this could be a distractor for these candidates, not fully allowing themselves to participate as a student representative. Throughout my time as an Eagle, I have been selected to attend events such as Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership Program, Commonwealth Honors Academy, and the Governor Scholars Program on behalf of Grace County. I have also been involved in GCTV since sophomore year, using my voice to share news for the students. So when the time comes to place your vote for the student representative, I ask for your vote to allow me to be a voice of the students. Hey GC, I'm Taylor Flowers, and I'm running for the 2020-2021 student member of the Graves County Board of Education. I want to be your voice. I want to improve communication and understanding of what matters to you. I'm currently the president of the Graves County Chamber Orchestra. I am also the president 
of HSA or Hope Student Ambassadors. I serve on the youth leadership and I love spending my time volunteering at local charities. Thank you for trusting me to be your voice and I appreciate your vote. My name is John Henternish and I'm running for office as your representative to the Graves County Board of Education. The main reason that I'm running this year is because well, I'm eligible and I'm a calm, level-headed negotiator that'll be able to get the job done and explain our side of things and our point of view on various issues that they bring up. Uh, the only real policy positions I have are no more gigantic, overpriced plastic slides and fix the technology department. What I mean by that last one is uh, we use Schoology. Schoology costs a lot more money than it's worth. It's just a worse version of Google Classroom that we have to pay for. I think that's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, that's why you should vote for me. Hey, GC, it's me, Zachary Lamb, and I'm excited to be on the ballot this year for your student representative to the Board of Education. Since my freshman year, I've been deeply involved with the high school community and contribute to many clubs and organizations that we have. To name a few being academic team, drama club, chess club, forensics team, the youth leadership team, musical theater, the choirs, and also I spent time working on the climate, culture, and environment subcommittee for our site-based decision-making committee. All this is done out of love for the GCHS community and the time that I spent is time that I will always cherish. That's also what motivates me to become your student representative. I wanna be a voice for the students of GCHS and be able to represent them no matter where they are on their educational journey. So GC, in the coming weeks, as we prepare to vote for our student representative, please remember me, Zachary Lamb, and help me get the chance to work for you on the student as the student representative on the Board of Education. That's all for today's GCTV. I'm Callie Riley. And I'm Olivia Cooper. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Have a great day, GC.